Len Goodman, the head judge on Strictly Come Dancing for more than a decade, has died at the age of 78. A knockout. Well done. From Len he became a household favourite when he joined Strictly in 2004 after a 40-year ballroom dancing career. The former Strictly Come Dancing head judge, Len Goodman, has died at the age of 78. He'd been diagnosed with bone cancer and passed away on Saturday at a hospice in Tunbridge Wells in Kent, surrounded by his family. The dancer and choreographer became a judge on the first show in 2004 and continued as head judge until his final appearance in 2016. Today, his fellow judges, the show's presenters and many of the contestants have paid tribute to him, as our entertainment correspondent Lisa Mazimba reports. Let's hear from our head judge, Len Goodman. If you don't get four tens for that, I'm going to go home and pick on my walnuts. <laughs> He was Strictly's twinkly fountain of wit and wisdom. Yum, yum, pig's bum, that was fun. You dance like I cook, just chuck it all in and hope for the best. <laughs> Honest if he didn't like it. Your bum, it was like you were chewing a toffee. Seven, seven. Full of praise if he did. It was knockout. Well done. From Len, In his youth, Len Goodman was a champion dancer himself quitting his job as a welder to turn professional. He quietly ran a dance school in Kent until he was 60. <laughs> then, to his surprise, the BBC called. Let's hear from our head judge, Len Goodman, um, one of the most respected ballroom and Latin judges in the country. In the judge's chair, I look for three things. Oh. Rhythm, rhythm, Rhythm. Why? 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 He did 14 series of Strictly. It was a hodgepodge of moves just out there to titillate the taste buds. I'm telling you, where's the chassis capes? Where's the twist what? turns? Where's the recognisable passage? And crossed the Atlantic as head judge of America's Dancing with the Stars. I don't want to see flashing lights, he flashing music. Is, was a class act. There was nobody like him because he was so humble. He loved dance. I mean, his face would light up when people, because lots of people take part in Strictly and they're like, you know what, I'll give it a couple of weeks, but I don't think it's going to be my thing. And then they fall in love with it and uh, he adored it. But he was uh, an extraordinary man, a brilliant man. <laughs> his late in life fame also gave him the opportunity love it. to present everything from travel programs. Dave, you're getting a 10 from Len. Three, two, one, let's get on with the show. To game shows. If you've got the time, the time. We... he left Strictly in 2016, bathed in respect and affection. There you go. Your best dance. Yeah! Len Goodman, the East End boy, Autumn, it's like looking in a mirror. who became the star of Saturday Night. Len Goodman, who has died at the age of 78. The humour, warmth and smile of Strictly Come Dancing judge Len Goodman were remembered fondly today following his death at the age of 78. He was a panellist from the very start of the hit BBC show and became a household name thanks to his many one-liners and jokes. Remarkably, Len only entered the world of ballroom in his late teens, but quickly rose to the top. Now, with the time coming up to 10 to 7, what else? Our entertainment reporter Rishi Davder looks back at his life on and off the dance floor. Let's hear from our head judge, Len Goodman. If you don't get four tens for that, I'm going to go home and pick on my walnuts. <laughs> his wit as quick as his dancing feet. Len Goodman was very much Mr. Saturday Night. You dance like I cook, just chuck it all in and hope for the best. <laughs> Seven! Six! Seven! Spirited scoring, creative criticism and effortless charisma meant that millions couldn't help but love Len. Artem, it's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> Whenever Len spoke, you listened. Uh, even if you disagreed with him, you had to respect what he was saying because it came from a position of, of knowledge. His legacy will go on. Seven will go on. Uh, you know, he changed it. He changed. <laughs> he changed a number. It's it's quite something um, to have that kind of that kind of gravity and that that weight. 
Um, he's going to be very much missed out of what well, he already is. Strictly's not the same without him. Television won't be the same without him. He was a, he was a master of the craft. He found his passion later than most, welding until 19. Then an injury saw Len turn his attention to dance. Competing internationally, he won a coveted British Championship in 1973. It was lucky, really, because the chap who really was much better, he twisted his ankle or something skiing, so he couldn't do it. And the one who should have come second had split up with his partner the week before. And somehow, I won it. And I, I, I can't believe it. I won this I mean, British comp Championship competition. I thought, I'll never win another one. I'm going to retire. So I packed up. He went on to open the Goodman Academy, a dance school in Kent. Len Goodman and Darcy Mossel. Teaching for decades before becoming a judge on Strictly Come Dancing back in 2004. He was the keeper of the rules. I mean, an absolute keeper of the rules. He, you could not give random marks to anybody because that would never happen in a competition. Therefore, this is a competition. It doesn't matter if they're amateurs, they play by the rules. And it wasn't just in the UK where he shone and entertained. Len judged Dancing with the Stars in the US until just last year. He was diagnosed with bone cancer and died on Saturday night, age 78. Away from the dance floor, Len was a keen golfer, which is how he met long-term friend, presenter Dan Walker. I remember we stayed at this really posh hotel in Scotland once and he wandered down to breakfast and he had hotel slippers on, this really elaborate dressing gown and he was carrying a cigar. And I said, are you going to smoke that? He went, no, it's all about the look. It's all about doing it with style. And, and that was him. He did everything with style. I think he was a, a high class gentleman who never forgot his working class roots. And I, you know, he will be sorely missed by millions. Len was a dancer admired by all, described by those close to him as genuine, warm and wonderful. Oh, lovely Len Goodman, who has died at the age of 78.